All right, folks, for those hanging around, thank you for sticking it out with me. For those who are brand new, welcome out to Nazro Hall. My name is AJ Arevalo, and I am here bringing you some boys middle school basketball as the Highlanders are taking on the Spartans from St. Stephen's. This one will be the Highlanders 2A boys blue team against the St. Stephen's purple team. And we had a couple of nice matches to start out this evening. Our first one ended with a 48 to three win for the Spartans. And the one that just ended, the Spartans came away with a 22 to 21 win which finished in outstanding style. And hopefully we have another good one. Let me fix my board here for you folks at home because it's no longer our score. Spartans, a little bit of advantage, I'm gonna say for this match is they've got a full nine player squad. Highlanders with just six. So they have one substitution for all five of the, for all their, uh, for the five men that are going to be on the court, our five athletes. And so we'll see how it's handled by Coach Hafner. As whistle's blown to 20 minute halves, what we have lined up for you out on the court first for the Highlanders. We're going to have David Brennig, Max Chasen, Ashton Kinsley, Graves Wood, and James Dalton out for the Spartans. We're going to have Truman Bears, Krishna Yeda, Luke Mabley. I apologize, I got this board in my face here. Charlie Navari, and one more, as that's going to be Chase Roth, who was in there for the tip off. Highlanders are going to win it as Brennig. Gonna pass it over to the left-hand side. Over to Dal Dalton's gonna send it all the way back over to K nicely, nicely. Pass up, taking the shot is number 14. Doesn't get the early needs for Graves Wood and rebound is gonna go to the Spartans. And there's a pass up top to Yeda. He's gonna slow it down. Mabley. Maybe with a quick pass over to Ralph. Ralph back up top. And we're just going to go back over to Yato on this one. Maybe with it. Quick pass. Navari. Bears. Yato. Another pass. Taking the shot to Navari. Oh, sorry. Navari with it. He's going to toss it. Shooting the three. Not going to get the roll. He needs his Bears. Rebound. Going back to the Spartans. Maybe with it. And he's going to get over Navari. Navari. It's going to shoot a deep two-pointer. And the Spartans are going to strike first. 18.50 here left in the first half. Two 20-minute halves that we have lined up for you folks. And taking the quick shot and sinking that one for the Highlanders is going to be nicely. There we go. Yada with it for the Spartans. Yada, I'm sorry, Yada. Mabley. Too much passing. Yada with it. <laughs> Mabley. Gonna keep it moving over to Roth. Roth back to Yada. Yada. Trying to make a move inside. Nice coverage by Dalton. Pass is complete. Going for the layup is Navari, and he's gonna hit that one. And there's a Spartan strike again. Brennig. That pass is tipped and almost stolen by Bears. Pass inside is complete. Roth going to sink that one. And those are knotted up at four. Yada with it. Good pass over to Mabley. Mabley hitting Roth. Roth back up top to Navari. Navari all the way around. Yada is going to end up with it. As Bears also had a hand on it. Some nice passing by the Spartan team so far as that pass is going to be tipped and stolen by Wood. And Graves Wood gets it over quickly to 
Chaston. Chaston around now. Nicely. Going to toss it over to Chaston. Chaston going to toss up a deep two. Now going to go in nicely with the rebound. Nicely. To Wood. Wood pass outside. Dalton with a three. Gets a, a roll he does not want. Mabley going to come down with the rebound. Well, excuse me, Roth with the rebound for the Spartans. Yada, quick hand off to Mabley. Mabley to Roth. Roth, back up top. And as we're going to work all the way over to Bears. Bears, Yada. Mabley, uh, excuse me, Roth. Navari, Mabley. And Bears not going to take it. Yada going to take the three. Doesn't go in. Underneath it's Graves Wood for the rebound. That was the Highlanders were on the move, and Coach Hafner telling Brennan, take your time, take your time, slow it down, get your read, get your play in with a nice pass inside. Chasson thinking about it, fade away. It's going to roll over the rim and rebound. It's going to go over to Charles Roth. Yada for the Spartans. Hand off to Bears. Bears. Roth, Roth, Mabley. Mabley, Navari. Navari, over to Bears. Bears taking the three. Doesn't get the roll, rebound. Mabley passes it quick over to Navari. Navari gonna go for the shot. Doesn't get the drop he needs and the foul's gonna get called against Max Chasen. It will be a shooting foul, I believe it is. So Charlie Navari. Going to head to the charity line. He'll be shooting too. Navari able to sink his first one. And that's going to give the Spartans a lead. Uh, substitutions are going to be made for both sides. As James is going to make his way in for the Highlander. Second shot from Navari goes in as well. And that extends the lead to two for the Spartans. Six to four with 14 and a half here left in the first half. Brennig. Quick pass over to Dalton. Dalton trying to get a pass over to James. It's going to be tipped and stolen. We'll give that one to Bears. Bears over to Navari. Navari going to take a quick shoe. Not going to go in. Graves Wood with the rebound as he gets it over to James. James taking the three off the backboard. Rebound. Going to go to Charles Roth. Navari. Quick pass. Bears. Ram. Own rebound. Tosses up the follow up. Doesn't go in. And Wood with the rebound. James dumps it off to Dalton. Dalton, Brennig, Brennig with it. Brennig thought about it, decided not to take it, dumps it off to Dalton, Dalton over to James. Ellis James, pass over to Brennig, Brennig moving inside. Covered immediately, pass back out to James. James, free throw line, he's gonna toss it up and get fouled on the shot. So Ellis James will head to the charity line, he'll be shooting two. And Spartans taking a timeout. Here with 13.23 left in the first half. And Spartans with a two-point lead, six to four. Whistle's blown. Rest getting the athletes back out onto the court. As 
is James. And still at the free throw line for the Highlanders. James should be shooting two. First one off the rim. Doesn't make its way in. And line up for his second. Second one. Doesn't get the roll he needs. Rebound. Roth he gets it over quickly to Davenport. As we saw Davenport game one for the Spartans. Makes a quick pass over to Walters. Walters. Back to Davenport. Davenport trying to make a move out on the perimeter. Pass inside is going to be tipped by James. Able to recover is Yorio, who we also saw game one. Pass up top to Walters. Walters over back over to Davenport. Trying to set a screen up is Gupta. Pass inside to Gupta is going to be tipped by James. That'll go out of bounds. It'll stay with the Spartans. Davenport makes his way over. James, nice coverage. Pass complete. Roth not going to go in. Wood with the rebound for the Highlanders. As he gets the pass over to James quickly, who also tosses it over to Dalton. Brennick, Brennick pass inside is complete. Going for the layup. Was Jackson. And he'll get fouled. That one's going to be on number 14, Chase Roth. As Davenport will make his way to the charity line. Oh, excuse me. He got the charity line, but he's not shooting Highlander possession. <laughs> Sorry about that. Wood with it. That one's going to get tipped by Gupta. It'll go out of bounds. It'll stay with the Highlanders. Brennig. Big pass up top is tipped, and they're going to say stolen. I'll give that one to Davenport. As Davenport's going to stop, shoot the three over Wood with the rebound. It's a back over to Brennig. And the Highlanders are on the move. Six to four, still your score. 11.25 left in the first half. James, nice little fake pump. Goes for the floating two, doesn't go in. Rebound Wood, Wood covered immediately. Bounces it outside, shooting the two. Goes nicely, doesn't go in. Rebound for the Highlanders, though. James was there. Chasson looking for a quick shot. Doesn't go in. Rebound. Nicely. Nicely. Covered in immediately by Walters. Yorio able to come up with that for the Spartans. He goes for the layup. He gets fouled on the way up. And then that foul is going to go against James. And they're going to say it was on the court, so... Not shooting two. It'll just be a possession here for the Spartans. As Davenport makes his way over to toss it in for the Spartans. Yorio with it. Pass up top. Pass back to Davenport. Walters. Yorio to his right. Walters to his left. And he gets a pass off to Yorio. Over to Gupta. Gupta for three. Off the rim, rebound, Ellis James. As the Highlanders are on the move now. I oh, apologize, this is the second, first quarter. It's the second quarter. Let me fix this. Oh, it is the first. Oops. I'm just everywhere. Highlanders with it. James moving to the left. Pass is going to be tipped by Yorio and stolen. And they're going to call that one on nicely. Spartans will maintain possession as Yorio looks to toss this one in. Gets it over to Davenport. Davenport. Walters. Walters back to Yorio. Brennan kind of get a hand in there. He's going to lose it. Shot doesn't quite go in. Rebound. Chasson. Chasson to Brennan. Brennan deep pass over to James. James thought about three. Not going to do it. Takes it inside. Covered immediately. I think it's a dump off to Nicely. Nicely. Back out to Chasson. Chasson on the perimeter. Trying to get a pass over to Brennick. Too high. It's going to go out of bounds. Possession will change to the Spartans. Go, 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 
As both teams make a substitution, Chasson makes his way off. Dalton makes his way back on. As Davenport brings the Spartans to this near side of the court. Davenport going to take it himself as James gets a hand in there. They're going to call the foul on James. It is a shooting foul, so Davenport will head to the charity line shooting two. Six to four, still your score, 820. Here left in the first half of game three between the Spartans and the Highlanders. As the first one was a little too far to the left. Doesn't quite get the roll that he was looking for. Davenport shooting his second. And that time gets the shot that he needs. And the Spartans lead seven to four. Wildlanders with possession. Woods to Brennick. Or Wood, excuse me, to Brennick. Brennick, quick pass to Chaston in the paint. They'll dump it out to Nicely, Nicely. Back to Chaston, Chaston. Covered immediately by Navari. And that one's tipped and Gupto with the steal. As he a little floater pass over to Mabley. Not gonna go in. Wood with the rebound. And Wood gets it over to Brennig, who slows it down at half court. Dalton. Nicely. Nicely with it. Chasson back up top to Dalton. Dalton with Navari in good coverage. Nicely. Gupta trying to get his hand in there. Not going to be able to get to it. Gets the pass off, but it was enough to cause an errant pass and a steal by Navari. And Navari, although he's able to sink that one, he'll get called for the travel. And possession will switch over to the Highlanders. Dalton. Navari almost getting a hand in there. Gets the pass off. Chasson with it. Chasson with Wood over the center. It's going to get wrestled away and stolen by Mabley. Mabley on the pass. It's going to get stolen back by Brennig. Brennig back to Dalton. Brennig for three. And Brennig shoots for three from downtown. And the Highlanders tie it up at seven. With 6.05 here left in the first half. Spartans all over the place. Gupta with it. to Bears, over to Navare, over to Yada, back to Gupta, and big pass up top to Bears. Bears over to Yada, Yada gonna shoot the three, off the rim, rebound, gonna go to Dalton. And bravo for the Spartans, they're doing some outstanding passes right now, and keeping the Highlanders on their toes, that is Brinig. Pass inside the Chasson. Chasson thought about it and instead nicely going to take a deep two and he's going to sink that one for the Highlanders. And the Highlanders take a lead. Giada. Navari. Navari, maybe setting up a screen. Pass over back to Yada. Yada taking it to the three. Doesn't quite get in there and Wood doing the smart thing of blocking and letting it go out of bounds. Possession. We'll go over to the Highlanders as the Spartans make some substitutions. Brennan gives it to Dalton, and Dalton brings the troops across. That's the Chasson. Tries to go in the paint, he's going to lose it. And there's a tie-up in the middle as Bears got in there. Jump ball, so position will go over to the Spartans. And timeout by Coach Roan. As his team currently trails by two. He wants to talk about it here with 4.30 left in the first half.
Both teams make their way back out onto the court. And Spartans with possession. There's Davenport. Quick pass over to Mabley. And I'm going to call double dribble on that one on Mabley. Possession will switch over to the Highlanders. Dalton fielding this one in for the Highlanders. As he gets to Brennig, big pack pass to Dalton. Dalton is one for three, doesn't go in. It goes out of bounds. Wood unable to get the rebound. So the Spartans will take possession. As Bayer dumps it off to Davenport. Davenport bringing the Spartans over. Quick pass over to Navari. Navari to Bears. Back to Navari. Navari way up top of Davenport. He's going to shoot the three, and he's going to sink the three. As Briggs Davenport gives the Spartans a one-point lead. Wood in the paint. And the pass over to Brennig for three. Doesn't go in. Wood able to get the rebound. Looking for some help. Trying to get it to nicely. It's going to be tipped and stolen by Navari for the Spartans. And Navari trying to get Mabley in the paint. It's going to be tipped by Wood instead. Davenport taking another three off the rim. Able to get to its Navari. Back up top to Mabley. Mabley over to Bears. Bears. Davenport. Davenport. Back to Navari. Over to Bears. Back to Davenport. Trying to make a move. Quick pass over to Navari. Navari over to Walters. Walters. Up top to Mabley. Mabley to Bears. Bears. Nothing there. Back up top to Davenport. Davenport with a quick move. That pass is going to be tipped by nicely. Saved by the Spartans. But they're going to say he stepped on the line as he was saving it. And that's Walters with a valiant effort. Possession will switch over to the Highlanders. As they trail 10 to 9 here with 2.20 left in the first half. Dalton over to Brennig. And the Highlanders are on the move. Brennig, quick pass it nicely, nicely. Deep two. So it was on the line. They're not going to go in. Rebound to Roth. Roth with it now. He gets a pass from Davenport. Moves it over to Mabley. Mabley back to Roth, uh, Davenport. Excuse me. Davenport trying to get some movement around the perimeter. Get the screen from Mabley. Pass inside is complete to Navari. Navari shooting for two off the rim, and Navari able to get his own rebound. Pass inside to Mabley. Mabley trying to get a shot off as Chassis comes up to block. Doesn't go in. Rebound to Walters. Walters able to come away with it. As he gets it over to Navari. That one's going to be tipped by Dalton, but Navari able to get his own re uh, the tip. All right, and we're going to slow it down. Hula. <laughs> Walters with it now here on the right side. Walters with a nice move inside the paint. Going to go for the layup. Doesn't get the roll he needs. Rebound. It's going to go up and down by Roth. Doesn't go in. And coming away with it is nicely. And Coach Hafner is going to call a timeout immediately for the Highlanders with a minute and ten left. And quite a lot of action here in the paint right underneath me by both squads. So 110 left here in game number three. This one between the 2A boys blue team for St. Andrews and the purple team from St. Stevens. One of the two games prior to this one, which I'm sure I'll say again at some point in the second half. The Spartan silver team beat the 2A white team for the Highlanders 22-21. And the 3A teams lost 48-3 Highlanders. With possession now, that was going to get tipped, and it's going to be stolen. We'll get that steal over to Walters as he looks to move on this right side. Pass inside to Mabley. He's got it. Mabley going up for a layup, and he's going to sink it with Chasson and Wood in his face. And the Spartans extend the lead. 
Three-point lead for the Spartans. Pass inside. Wood going for the layup. Doesn't go in. Roth with the rebound for the Spartans is Davenport. Quick pass over is going to be intercepted by Wood. And they're going to call that one on Davenport. A little too much contact there in half court. Possession will stay with the Highlanders with 28 seconds left. Brennig gets the pass from Dalton. Dalton to his right. Chasson in the middle, as is Wood. Back to Brennig up top. On the far left is Nicely, Nicely. Pass back to Chasson. Chasson with a deep two, and Chasson hits a deep two-pointer for the Highlanders, and they shrink this lead to one. And as the Spartans are on the move, Davenport for pass to Mabley. Wood in nice coverage. Mabley with a shot, doesn't go in. Walter is able to save it, and not going to be able to get the shot off is Chase Roth. And instead, that's going to do it for our first half. One half down, one more to go. Spartans with a one-point lead here in game three. We're going to take a break. We've got about four and a half minutes or so left here in the halftime, folks. So take a breather. I'm going to do the same. I'll be right back before the second half tips off. You're listening to Spartan and Highlander basketball right here on Vibe Live.
All right, folks, both teams making their way back out onto the court, getting warmed up, getting ready for this second half. One more 20 minute half left as the Spartan purple team, right? It's purple. It is the Spartans purple team leads the 2A boys blue team for St. Andrews 12 to 11, so a slim lead. For those wondering, what about the girls basketball team? Well, that's gonna be tomorrow here at Nazro Hall. We've got some middle school girls basketball lined up for you, as well as one more boys basketball game. Girls basketball will be first, and the 2A girls team will take on the St. Stephen's Purple team at four o'clock. And the 1A girls team will take on St. Stephen's at 5.15, with the 1A boys team for the Highlanders taking on St. Stephen's at 6.30 to wrap up another triple header tomorrow afternoon as the loud buzzer goes off. And we are almost set to be underway. Or maybe not, maybe just some more talking, even though the buzzer went off. <laughs> Our officials are saying, let's go white, let's go red. There it goes. Both teams break the huddle and make their way out. Highlanders. With possession here to start the second half. As Dalton gives it over to Brennig. Brennig. Good path to Nicely. Nicely up in the middle of Chasson. Chasson look for some help. Back to Nicely. Nicely over to Wood. And Gupta getting a little bit of an early jump. He's going to draw the... He's going to foul, excuse me. Wood and Wood. We'll head to the charity line shooting two here early in the second half. Wood sinking the first one. And we might as well just erase the scoreboard and start at zero to zero because that's exactly where we're at right now. Knotted up at 12. And Wood doesn't get the roll he needs. Rebound, though, is going to go to nicely. And they're going to say an early jump on the Spartans. So Wood will be shooting one more. And he sinks that one to give the Highlanders a 13 to 12 lead here early in the second half. Yada bringing the Spartans over past mid court. Dumps it off to Gupta. Passes over to Roth, who passes inside to Yada. Yada making a nice move inside, tossing that one up, not going to go in. Good defense by Dalton and Wood on Yada. As the Highlanders come away with the rebound. And that pass is going to be tipped by Yorio. And that one is going to be stolen by Roth. Yorio trying to make a quick move, goes for the layup, and he hits the layup for the Spartans. And we have another lead change. Brennig inside the Chasson. Chasson thinking about making a move. Dumps it back off to Dalton. Dalton with a touchdown throw over to Nicely. He gets it back to Chasson. Chasson going to take a three shot. He gets the roll, but doesn't quite go in. Gupta with the rebound as he passes quickly over to Yorio. Yorio with a pass over to Roth. Roth. Tied up immediately, passes back outside. Bears trying to shoot a three, doesn't go in. Rebound to Gupta, who picks it up and tosses a three of his own, and he sinks that one from downtown on the left-hand side. And the Spartans extend their lead now. Chasson with it, over the nicely, nicely. Up top, Brennig, Brennig. Over to Dalton. Dalton inside the Chasson. Chasson with a nice move. He's going to get fouled on the way in. And that's going to go against Gupta. And I believe that's going to be his fourth, I believe, tonight. So 
Most likely, Coach Rowan may get a sub for him, let him take a five minute break or so, but we'll see as Dalton tries to get a pass over to Nicely. It's gonna be tipped by Bear as it'll go out of bounds. Brennick, pass to Chasson. He's tried to get that one between Gupta and Roth, who both got a hand on it. Went right back out of bounds, so we'll reset and try again. Pass up top to Nicely. He gets it over to Dalton quickly. Dalton, thinking about going inside, dumps it back side to Nightly, uh, Nicely, excuse me. Nicely inside the wood, wood. Covered immediately, gets it over to Chasson. Chasson going to take it himself, shoots the two, hits the rim, falls a little bit short. And Gupta gets the rebound for the Spartans. As Giada brings the Spartans across the court. He's going to take his time with it, though, as he gets it over to Yorio. Yorio to Roth. Roth to Gupta. Gupta. Going to make a move inside. Nicely gets a hand on it, though. And he dumps it off to Yorio. Yorio back to Gupta. Gupta for three. Off the rim. Rebound to Nicely. And nicely, he's going to slow it down as he gets it over to Brennan here in the middle. Chasson for three. And Chasson hits the three for the Highlanders. And as Gupta dumps it off to Yada. And Yada makes his way across half court. Yada to Yorio. Yorio shooting a three of his own. Hits the rim, doesn't get the bounce he needs, and Brennig with the rebound. As he's trying to get Chassis quickly over the middle, Yorio gets a great jump on it, and with the steal, Gupta with the layup. It's gonna roll all over the rim, and Wood comes down with the rebound as he gets it over to Dalton. Dalton with a quick pass over to Chasson. Chasson hitting the layup for the Highlanders, and guess what, folks? It's another lead change as the Highlanders take an 18 to 17 lead over the Spartans with 14 and a half left in the game. Yada with it now. Taking his time over to Roth. Roth over to Bears, but that's going to be tipped by Nicely and stolen. And he gets it over to Chasson. Chasson making a move inside. Goes for the layup. Doesn't quite go in. Rebound over to Roth as he gets it over to Gupta. And Gupta, quick pass. Over to Yorio, Yorio shooting a three. Off the rim it goes, rebound to Wood. And he gets it over to Dalton. Dalton over to Brennig. Brennig back up top to Chasson. Chasson with another three. Off the rim, Gupta with a rebound. As he dumps it off to Yada. Let's bring it back over. And timeout by Coach Roan and the Spartans. They've got to break the drought that both teams have had so far. Lots of back and forth misses and baskets here and there. But we'll see what the Spartans draw up here as they are still in possession with 1340 left in the second half. For you Spartan fans that are tuning in, we do have a good game going on right now at Meredith Field over at St. Stephen's between the Academy soccer team and the Austin FC. So the last matchup between these two teams, I believe I was the one there calling it. Spartans came away with the victory. I believe it was a one-goal victory, if I remember right. So it was a very close game, very athletic and physical game what you like to see in a soccer game and I definitely recommend you tune in when this one is wrapped up because I'm sure there's a good one as my good friend Kevin McAdams is there broadcasting live from Meredith Field As teams make their way back out Wow, I thought the Spartans had possession there on the timeout, and they do. As Navari is in for the Spartans. Now he's going to field this one in. Gets it over to Walters. Walters. That pass is missed, and Gupta was able to come up and recover for the Spartans as they almost lost that one to James. 
That's back to Navari. Navari. Navely trying to set a screen up, gets the pass up to Gupta quickly. And another screen set by Walters. Walters moving inside up top. Going to keep moving over to Navari on the left. Navari going inside. Not going to take the shot. Passes it back up top to Walters. Who gives it back to Gupta? Gupta with it now. Taking a quick read. Size up. He's going to pass it over to Walters, who goes for the three, and he sinks the three. Walters from downtown for the Spartans. And another lead change. Brennig over to Dalton. Dalton over to James. James, pass back up to Chasson as he was covered immediately. Chasson going to the paint, not going to do it. Over to Brennig, quick move. Over back to Dalton. Back to Brennig, back to James. James delaying the three, taking the three, and off the rim it goes, but he's able to recover his own rebound, and he's going to lose it after touching it last, and possession will switch over to the Spartans. 20 to 18 is your score. 12, 20 here left in the second half. Spartans with the two-point lead. Walters. Over to Navari. Navari with it. Yeah, that one's going to get tipped by James. Pass is going to be complete though to Walters. Walters going for the layup. Doesn't go in. And rebound to Chasson. And there's Chasson. Comes in himself. He's going to lose it. It's going to roll out of bounds. And possession will switch over to the Spartans. It looked like Chasson wanted a call on that one. He wasn't going to get it. As Roth makes his way off. Davenport made his way on. Looks like that throw in. There was an extra step on the line. As there was. Took one extra step too many. Position is going to switch over to the Highlanders now. As Brennig makes his way over. As Chasson's able to get it, goes for the layup and getting his big paw up there is Mabley. Luke Mabley with the block. Position will stay with the Highlanders, but nice defensive play. Brennick, Woods right on the basket. Mabley in coverage. He's going to toss it back up top. Dalton. Dalton with the handoff to James. James almost losing it. Taking a quick step back up top to Dalton. Dalton. Looking for some help. Brennig not going to happen as Davenport gets the pick and the steal. And able to slow it down, though, is Brennig. As Walters gets it to Gupta. Gupta is going to slow down and get everybody reset for the Spartans as they still have that two-point lead. Davenport with it at the top. Over to Walters. Walters, back to Davenport, and Davenport doesn't quite go in. Rebound, he's gonna go to Mabley. Mabley, trying to recover, doesn't go in. Rebound, Walters. Over the Gupta, James gets up there and blocks Gupta's shot as Walters able to come down with it after the block. Over to Navari, he's gonna shoot two, doesn't go in, and a race two as it goes out of bounds. And they're gonna say the Spartans touched it last. Highlanders will take possession as Nicely is gonna make his way in for Dalton for the Highlanders. 9.45 here left in the second half. Spartans still with a two-point lead, 20 to 18, and it was nicely. Pass to Chasson, Chasson back up top to James. James to Wood, Wood, going for the layup, doesn't quite get the drop he needs, rebound nicely, and that one's stolen by Gupta as he gets up top, is able to get a hand on it, and he moves quick here to the left, quick pass over to Navari, and Navari Going to have to slow it down now as Davenport gets it at the top of the arc. Gupta with a nice screen and gets the pass off to Gupta. Gupta going to drive it inside the paint. Going to try to take a shot as whistle's blown. No shot called. We're going to call that one on Mabley. I'm not sure what happened, but possession will switch over to the Highlanders. And it's Brennig. Brings everybody across half court over to James on the left. James with a nice screen by Wood. And they're going to call that one on Gupta. Highlanders still with possession. Brennig, quick pass over to Wood. Wood swarmed immediately up top of Chasson. Chasson to James. James. Brennig. Brennig shooting for two. 
Too much mustard on it. Mabley is going to come down with the rebound. As that pass is complete to Navari, and he goes for the layup, and the toilet bowl rolls, and it falls out. Brennig with the rebound as Chasson runs into Gupta. Yeah, let's see what the call is going to be. And they're going to call that on Gupta. They're going to say he didn't get his feet set. I thought he did. It looked like he did get set, but they're going to call that one on the Spartans. As the Spartans make a substitution as well, and Highlanders are going to go ahead and call a timeout here. As the Highlanders not going to take a shot, but they will maintain possession. 20 to 18 is the score. 7:50 here left in the second half. Something that I like to see that I don't know if you caught there, but our officials have a discussion on what just happened. Make sure they're both on the same page. And that's exactly what you like to hear as these two officials are our normal officials uh, for every game that we have here at Nazro Hall. <laughs> as I see them all the time and our head official saying the feet were still moving a little too, little too much there for me. So that's why he called, uh, called it the way he did. But 20 to 18 is your score. 750 left in the match. Highlander still trailed by two. As both teams make their way back out onto the court. That's Coach Hafner there drew up a nice play which disappeared immediately from his erase board <laughs> as soon as everybody broke. So we'll see how it's run. Nice pass inside the chest. The chest for the layup, and just like he drew it up is how it happens. And the Highlanders and Spartans are knotted up at 20 with Yada bringing the Spartans over. Pass to Mabley. Mabley back to Yada. Yada over to Walters. Nice screen by Mabley, and trying to get to Yada. It's going to get mishandled. It'll go out of bounds. Possession will switch over to the Highlanders. And with 7.15 now left of the game, it's 20-20. Highlanders with an opportunity to take a lead over the Spartans. James James shooting the three. Not going to make it. Walters underneath it, able to take that one away on the rebound. Walters going to take it to the house himself. Goes for the layup, and Walters seeking the layup for the Highland excuse me, for the Spartans. Nicely now, bringing the Highlanders over. Pass inside is going to be stolen by Yorio, and Yorio is going to take it himself. He's going to draw the foul on the breakaway, and that'll go against nicely. And Yorio will head to the charity line, shooting two. First one hits the back of the rim and bounces out. As Dalton makes his way in for James for the Highlanders. And that second one goes in. As the Spartans extend their lead to three points. Nicely with it. Over to Brennan on the left. Pass inside the chest. The chest and looking for some help. He's got nicely, nicely in the paint, tossing it up. Doesn't get the roll he needs. Rebound. It's still loose. And coming up with it is going to be Bears for the Spartans. As he gets it over to Yada. Yada over to Walters. Walters. Going to bring it up towards the top. Pass over to Yada. Yada thinking about it. Makes a quick move. Tries to take a shot after taking an extra step. Had to do it. Didn't quite get the angle he's looking for. And Dalton. Is going for the pass and doesn't complete it as he gets called for the travel. And the Spartans are going to go ahead and call a timeout here as they're in possession with 5.17 now left in the game. Spartans with a three-point lead, 
to 20. Whistles blown and both teams make their way back out on the court. Martins with possessions. Walters. Pass back to Bears. Bears covered immediately by Brennig. Maybe trying to set a screen, not gonna do it. Pass over to Walters. Pass inside is completed, and nice defense by Wood is able to stop Bears from getting the layup as nicely. Brings the Highlanders across the court. There's a pass over the middle of the chest, and Chasson shooting the two, not going to go in. Rebound to Roth as Yorio was on a breakaway, goes to the layup, doesn't go in, and rebound. Mabley, and Mabley is able to recover and take a shot after the rebound and sink it for the Spartans. 25 to 20 is your score. Highlanders have yet to answer. As that one's going to be stolen by Bears. And Bears goes for the layup and sinks it. And now the Spartans trying to extend that lead as much as they can. Brennan over there nicely, nicely with it. And Yorio gets a hand in there. Brennan is nicely able to recover, excuse me. Gives it over to Dalton. Dalton almost losing it to Walters. He swarmed immediately by Bears and Walters. And Coach Hafner having to burn a timeout there as there was nobody to help Dalton on that one. With 4.04 now left in the game. Highlanders and Spartans here battling it out in game three. Spartans taking the first two. Highlanders hoping to go home with at least one win as Dalton gives it into Brennick. Brennick back to Dalton. Dalton inside the woods. That's going to get tipped by Bears and Wood able to recover as he tries to get that one to Dalton on the edge. Nice defense by the Spartans. It goes out of bounds. And they're going to say the Highlanders maintain possession. Now set to Dalton on top. Dalton over to Nicely on the left. Inside the chest. And chest and triple tune immediately surrounded. It's going to be tipped. And Navari gets a tip. And coming up with it's going to be Walters for the Spartans. Pass inside the Mabley. Mabley able to get the layup for the Spartans and extend the lead. Highlanders trying to answer. Brennig over to uh, Chasson. Chasson going in. They're going to call that one on Walters. The possession will stay with the Highlanders. Brennig. Wood right under the net. Wood going for the layup. Doesn't go in. Trying to get the rebound. Gets knocked out of bounds by Wood. Spartans taking possession. 2.50 now left in the game. Spartans with a 29-20 lead here at Nazro Hall. Walters gets it over to Navari. Navari 
Pass over to Walters on the right side as they run into each other there and they're gonna get called for the traveling. That's just a lesson learned on positioning for these young athletes. Highlander's gonna take possession now. There's Brennig. Fakes too nicely, faked me out. Gets over to Dalton, Dalton trying to get nicely on the edge here, it's gonna go out of bounds. Spartans taking possession. Navari dumps it over to Walters. Two minutes now left in the game. Spartans with a nine point lead. Walters gets it over to Navari. Navari to Walters. Walters gonna take the three point shot off the rim. Rebound Mabley. Mabley passing it back over to Walters who gets it up top to Navari. Navari on the edge to Bears. Bears going inside, floating two, not gonna go in. And Bears able to get his own rebound. Pass out to Navari. Navari taking it inside. Off the rim, Navari gets his own rebound, tosses it up again, and Wood able to come away with the rebound for the Highlanders as he tries to put a rocket, and it goes right to Walters, who comes up with the steal, and Walters doing the same thing, but this time Mabley able to recover as Brennan got a hand in there and almost got the steal. Bears shooting a wide open two, doesn't go in. Navari with the rebound, pass inside Mabley with it. And they're going to call Mabley with a travel on that. As it looks like he tried to turn inside and just took one step too many. As we've hit 1.05 left in the game. Highlanders still trying to score an answer. Nicely, that pass is going to be tipped and stolen by Walters. Walters on the breakaway nicely in coverage. Nice is going to go ahead and foul him as he goes up. And a nice job by Roth. As <laughs> is, is, uh, Chase Roth. After the whistle, just did a no-look behind the head shot and was able to sink it. Doesn't count, though. As Walters is going to hit the charity line, he'll be shooting two. First one goes in for Walters. As does the second. And with 57 seconds left, Highlanders trailing by 11. Brennick. Dalton. Dalton back to Brennick. And Brennick's covered immediately by Navari. And they're going to call him for the reaching on that one. Highlanders will maintain possession. Brennick gets it over Dalton back to Brennick. Brennick back to Dalton. Dalton's going to lose it, and he recovers quickly with Navari in coverage. Gets over to Chasson. Chasson covered by Walters. And trying to split Navari and Walters is Chasson. He's going to get that taken away by Navari, who dumps it off to Walters for the two. And doesn't get the roll. It comes out. Rebound Mabley. Mabley tosses it up. Doesn't go in. Woods with the rebound. And Wood trying to get the pass off to Chasson. Bears comes up with a steal. Over to Roth. Roth. Gonna shoot that one. No foul called though, but he did sink it as he was going down. With seven seconds left. Five. Brennig with a three. Off the rim. Rebound. Roth. Two. One. And just gonna toss up that one as Navari. Not gonna go in, and that's gonna do it. St. Stevens here, Spartans, with the sweep over the Highlanders. As they win the first game. Excuse me, I'm looking for my pin. There we go. As they win the first game, 48 to 3. Second game, they win 22 to 21. And this third and final game, they win 33 to 20. If you're still looking for your high school athletic fix, be sure to tune in. You should see it on the bottom of your Screen there where you can catch the Spartans Academy soccer team taking on the Austin FC youth team over at Meredith Field at St. Stephen's. That game is currently underway with Kevin McAdams here from Vipe working. And if not, be sure to tune in tomorrow as we've got the Highlander girls basketball 2A team taking on the St. Stephen's purple team. Then the Highlander 1A girls team taking on St. Stephen's. And then the boys basketball 1A team 
taking on St. Stephen's. All three of those games starting at 4 o'clock will be here at Nazareth Hall, and yours truly will be here to bring you that broadcast live. Until then, folks, thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed the broadcast. I know I enjoyed bringing it to you. I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a great night, and thanks for listening to your Spartan Highlander basketball on Vibe Live.